exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to a video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another experiment video here on Madden 22. That's right. We haven't done one of these in a little bit. I think the last experiment video that I did was the, uh, was it the Colin Kaepernick one a while back, a couple months ago? I don't remember exactly, but I do like doing these experiment videos, but the problem is a lot of other Madden YouTubers have done experiment videos in the past, and so it's it's hard to come up with creative new directions to go with in terms of experimenting with Madden, because there's just so much that's already been done. So, in that case, I think I might have come up with something that's fairly new. Probably, it's not definitely not original. I, I know that. I didn't, I'm not the first person to ever think of this, but... I mean, I feel like I haven't really seen it done a whole lot, and that's probably because it's really hard to get started, the, the, the thing that I've done. So let's just cut to the chase. What I've done is I've taken the highest rated players at each position in the NFL, in rated by Madden, and put them on the same team and see if they can win a Super Bowl. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I've done. So... Starting off, we are going to be the Dallas Cowboys for this video because I was going through the team selection to pick what team I wanted to put all these good players on. And I was like, well, if we're going to put every great player on one team, we might as well pick one of the highest rated teams. And there was a battle uh, for who the highest rated team was in this roster that I had. And the Cowboys, surprisingly, were one of the teams that were tied for the highest rated team. And I was like, you know what? This is America's team. This is a fun video. Why not we? Why don't we put everybody on the Cowboys since uh, kind of pay tribute and give a second chance to the Cowboys because of what happened to them in real life in the postseason. So we won't really get into that. So the Cowboys are the team that we are using. The head coach. There can only be one head coach. Not Mike McCarthy, not Sean Payton. There can only be one head coach to come in and coach this great of a team, and that is Sir Dixon Betweenerlegs. That's right. Dixon B. Tweenerlegs. Dixon B. Tweenerlegs. That's the coach. He's very professional. He's ready to take on this massive task. And as you can see, we have 99s across the board. So when we get into this roster, I will go through and I will show you what we have. I will show you what I've done. Here we, here we are. So I went through and I picked every single every single uh, best player at, at their position. And I turned injuries off, so there are no injuries in this thing, not practice injuries, nothing. So these players, that's why there's no backups for the offense alignment and stuff. So these players will play the entire season, at least that's the goal, and they should not get injured. So how I determined who the best player was, I just loaded up a roster that was fairly recent and I just went through each position and I grabbed the best the best highest rated players at that position so for instance Patrick Mahomes now you guys might not think in terms of real life that Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league you may think that maybe Joe Shiesty is a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes in this in real life but in Madden at least in this roster unfortunately Joe Burrow's not highly rated I think he's like an 80 80 high 80s I think I forget what he is actually but Patrick Mahomes was a 99 when I traded for him he's gone down to a 98 I think just for morale purposes I think but he should be back and ready to go for 
the season. He should be back up to a 99 by the end of the season. I picture this team undefeated, but you know how Madden Simulation works. The running back situation was a little bit more difficult. Derrick Henry was the highest rated running back. That wasn't the difficult part. But there was four running backs, I think, that were tied at 96. Maybe three running backs that were tied at 96. So I did rock, paper, scissors, and, and I picked Christian McCaffrey and Nick Chubb. So Christian McCaffrey and Nick, Nick Chubb are the other two running backs that are um, backing up Derrick Henry. I don't know if they'll get in. They probably will. They'll probably get a little bit of touches. Wide receivers, Devontae Adams and DeAndre Hopkins were the highest rated receivers in the game. Then you got Cooper Cup. You've got Tyreek Hill, Stefan Diggs, and Keenan Allen are the highest rated receivers in this Madden. So that's cool. Kyle Juszczyk, the highest rated fullback in the game. Left tackle, the best left tackle in the game is Trent Williams, which I was surprised at. I thought it was going to be somebody different, but Trent Williams, highest rated left tackle in the game. Quentin Nelson, best left guard. Ryan Jensen, there's not a whole lot of high rated centers in the game. But Ryan Jensen was the highest rated. Zach Martin is the highest rated guard, right guard. And Tristan Wirfs, he's tied with Lane Johnson for the highest rated right tackle in the game. So I just picked Tristan Wirfs because he's younger and I like him more. <laughs> and then obviously you guys, you guys know the three best tight ends in the game. Maybe you would have thought it's Darren Waller instead of Mark Andrews. But these are the three best tight ends in the game. On defense, this is where it gets fun. This is where it gets fun. Now, you see a lot of red, a lot of X-Factors, and that's because a lot of these guys do have X-Factors. But as you guys know, you can only have three X-Factors active at one time. So, actually, I'm, I'm going to take Cam Jordans off and probably put probably put uh, TJ Watts on so we can have somebody on the edge. And he doesn't know. He doesn't need selfless. He needs... What does TJ Watt need? Obviously, you guys know that we have... TJ Watt. <laughs> That's not anything crazy. I think I'm going to do Fearmonger for him. He's going to also have. Uh, what should he have? Should he have extra credit? That could be a good one. Reach Elite. Uh, that could be good. He should have Reach Elite and Edge Threat. There we go. Okay. So, TJ Watt's ready. So, for, for this, I picked Miles Garrett. And Aaron Donald, those are the two highest rated guys. Now, Aaron Donald is a right end, but I'm putting him at left end because he's higher rated than Cam Jordan and Demarcus Lawrence, who are the two highest rated left ends. There's not a whole lot. A lot of the best pass rushers happen to be right ends. There's not a whole lot of highly rated left ends, which surprised me a little bit. But there we go. So I put Aaron Donald there so he can get a lot of playing time. I was going to put him at D tackle. But then I was like, you know what? We've got some pretty solid deep tackles anyway. I don't want to take away from them. So we've got Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald, Cam Jordan, Demarcus Lawrence. And then we got Vita Vea, Jonathan Allen, Chris Jones, and DeForest Buckner as the defense tackles. Now I got four of these guys because I wasn't sure what the substitution rate was going to be. I know I can obviously change it, but at just the base default uh, substitution thing for like during a game i i wanted to have enough guys so that in case something would happen now i know there's not injuries but there is still i think fatigue so people still get tired i i just wanted to get the most amount of guys so that there wasn't a chance of some bum actually getting in and playing on this team as for the linebackers you got von miller coming off the right side along with micah parsons i didn't change that kept micah parsons he's the only rookie that i actually kept i think then you got Levante David, and you got Fred Werner as the middle linebackers. Then you got TJ Watt and Khalil Mack as the left outside linebackers. So this linebacking core is elite. Strong safety, Tyron Matthew and Buda Baker. Uh, this guy, M M Mukuamu, Mukuamu I, I don't think he's ever going to play. He shouldn't, at least. If he does, then, then something happened. But these two guys are the, the two guys that should play. Uh, free safety, Justin Simmons and Kevin Byard, the two highest rated free safeties. Uh, free safety doesn't really have a high rated player. And Justin Simmons was the highest rated at 92. Then you got corner. Everybody knows the best corners in the league. You got Jalen Ramsey. You got Jair Alexander, Tredavious White, Stephon Gilmore. If I can get down to him, there he is. Stephon Gilmore, Marlon Humphrey. Those are the highest rated corners in the game. And even special teams is done. Special teams, Justin Tucker and Johnny Hecker are the two highest rated kicker punter combo in the league. So that's the team. And now if you're wondering how I did this, I'll show you. 
I didn't do this in a base roster because you can't physically do there's too everybody costs too much money in salary cap that you can't do it which I also think is a is a dumb thing I feel like if your salary cap shouldn't be a thing once or uh, until you get into an actual franchise like you shouldn't have to rely on salary you shouldn't have to to make a roster based on salary cap in just regular like if you're just goofing around for play now you like you should have to worry about you shouldn't have to worry about something like that. but but it is what it is so i had to go into the franchise and i had to create and take control of every single team in the league to be able to get the players so that's why you see a bunch of new owners on each team but i before we start simulating i'm going to retire every single one of these owners until we get to just uh dixon between her legs head coach dixon so i'm gonna i'm only gonna be controlling the cowboys that's why i did an owner and not a head coach because if i was going to be a head coach then i would have to retire like bruce arians and i had to retire sean mcvay and 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 all those and i don't want to do that that's not fun so and i get rid of their draft classes too or their not the draft classes their their playbooks so that's what i'll do before we start simulating but we're going to simulate and we're going to see if it takes one season to win a super bowl if it takes two seasons to win a super bowl we should be, and there's no salary cap as well, so I'll be able to re-sign these guys if it takes more than one season. So this is going to be the team. I hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know down below if you guys have any other creative ideas that you want to see experimented with in Madden 22. I'm always down for new ideas for different kind of situations and things that we can try and find out, see how good Madden simulation really is, which little little insider tip man simulation not that great <laughs> but okay i will see you guys at the end of the season when hopefully they are the one seed and they're undefeated and they're in the 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 bye week I, i'm hoping that's the case but i'll see you guys at the break all right here we are in the postseason and as i predicted we are 17 and 0. Now, a lot of you guys probably thought that was going to be the case anyway, but you never really know in terms of Madden simulation what's going to happen. You could have built the greatest team possible and yet you still go out and lose like two or three games in the season. So, you never know what's going to happen. I'm just glad that it actually worked out in our favor. Now, let's simulate one more week to get our matchup in the playoffs and in the divisional round. Then we'll go check stats and we'll check all the good stuff, see who won any awards, all that stuff. So we're playing the 10-7 and Arizona Cardinals. That shouldn't be much of a challenge, I wouldn't think. It looks like everybody has developed very well. We've got 230 staff points that I just saw right there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at passing yards for Patrick Mahomes. 450, well, no, that's not right. 4,559 yards is what I was going to try and say. 53 touchdowns, 13 picks. That should be a little bit lower, but I mean, whatever. It, it is what it is, I guess. It looks like Cooper Rush actually got into a game and threw one pass but didn't complete it. Rushing, Derrick Henry had 291 attempts, 1,700 yards, 16 touchdowns. McCaffrey had 144 attempts, 671 uh, yards, and 10 touchdowns. Cooper Cup and Travis Kelsey both got 1,000 yards. 75 catches for Cup, 94 for Kelsey. 13 touches for touchdowns for Cup, 12 for Kelsey. 13 for DeAndre Hopkins, who had 929 yards. Devontae Adams, 757 and 9 touchdowns. Tyreek Hill, four catches, 30 yards. Mark Andrews, no catches. Stefan Diggs, Keenan Allen, no catches. Okay, interesting. Offensive line obviously did pretty well. Now, here's the good stuff. Jair Alexander led everybody in tackles with 93. Then Fred Warner with 90. 88 for Stefan Gilmore. 22 tackles for loss for Vita Vea. 18 for Aaron Donald, 14 for Jonathan Allen, 12 for Miles Garrett. Sack leader was Miles Garrett with 20 sacks 
on the season. 18 for Donald, 8 for Allen, 6.5 for Vita Vea, 2 for TJ Watt, 1.5 for Cam Jordan, 1 for Von Miller, 1 for Khalil Mack, a half for Matthew Simmons, Ramsey, and DeForest Buckner. Interception leaders, Fred Warner, surprisingly, it leads everybody with five, then Jalen Ramsey with four, Alexander with four, TJ Watt, Tyron Matthew, and Stefan Gilmer with three, Von Miller with two, and Tredavious White with one. Did anybody force a fumble? We sure did. Three forced fumbles for Tyron Matthew, and two recovered by Matthew. One forced by Fred Warner, Miller, and Miles Garrett, and we only picked up those two, so we lost a bunch of them. We, we, we didn't pick up a lot of those fumbles. Any block kicks on the season? Doesn't look like it. Any safeties on the season? No safeties. But we do have a defensive touchdown. So Tyron Matthew either had a pick six or a fumble recovery for a touchdown. I'm not sure. It won't tell me, I don't think. No, I don't, I don't think it'll tell me which one he had. So that's okay. Kicking Justin Tucker, 9 for 10. A 55-yarder was his longest. He did have one blocked. And he went 93 of 95 from extra points. He had one blocked as well. So the defenses or the special teams for other teams coming up clutch. Johnny Hecker punted the ball pretty well, it looks like. He had five touchbacks. Kicked a 72-yarder is his longest. That's pretty good. Tyreek Hill had two kick return touchdowns. So he may not have done anything on offense, but on special teams, Tyreek Hill was a demon with two kick return touchdowns, even a 100-yarder as a uh, as a long but e even better four punt return touchdowns for Tyreek Hill the cheetah is on fire on special teams he's just giving that peace sign out to everybody as he as he runs past him he went crazy so that is the stats for your Dallas Cowboys Mahomes led everybody with 53 touchdowns we had the best offense in the league and probably the best defense in the league yearly awards Mahomes is your MVP Dixon between her legs is your coach of the year. Now that is a coach that you want to have around everybody. He's just a likable guy. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Patrick Mahomes. J.J. Watt gets Defensive Player of the Year. Justin Fields, rookie. Zayvon Collins, defensive rookie. Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback. Kamara beats out Derrick Henry for best running back. Randall Cobb wins best wide receiver. Trent Williams wins offense line. J.J. Watt wins defensive line over Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald. Leonard, Fo Leonard Floyd wins best linebacker. Carlton Davis wins best DB. And Matt Wright wins best kicker. If you care about the AFC, we'll just go quickly through it. Here is your AFC awards. Doesn't really matter too much since we're not in the AFC. All right. So that is the stats, the awards, everything that we need to go over. And uh, I kind of want to check and see. I want to check and see if anybody has like gone up to a solid 99 yet. I'm assuming, yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming Patrick Mahomes is a 99. And he is. Use check's gone up. McCaffrey's gone up to a 98. Chubb's up to a 97. We've got four 99s. Well, three 99s at wide receiver. But um, these two guys are playing up to a 99 with morale. They'd be 98s. Then we've got 99 Trent Williams, 99 Quentin Nelson, 99 Zach Martin, 99 Travis Kelsey. You'd expect this team to go 17-0. That's not the shock. The shock isn't that they went 17-0. The shock is that Madden didn't screw them over. That's the, that's the shock. Everybody's looking pretty good over here as well. So... I'm expecting a Super Bowl in year number one. I'm expecting this not to be a very long video. Let's take a quick look at the bracket as we go into it. The Chargers beat the Browns, so they're playing the Titans. The Dolphins beat the Raiders, and the Chiefs beat the Steelers, so that's the matchup. Over on our side, the Packers beat the Saints, Cardinals beat the Bucks, and the 49ers beat the Falcons. So it's Packers, Niners, and us versus the Cardinals in the divisional round. Let's see what's going to happen in the divisional round now wouldn't it be just the best if i was gonna say if if the cardinals beat us we go 17 and 0 and we lose our first playoff game that would just be hilarious wouldn't it i'd cry we're going up against the packers in the nfc conference championship game aaron Rodgers 
versus Patty Mahomes. Who's going to take the crown as NFC champion? It is the Dallas Cowboys 31 to 10. Now we got the Pro Bowl and then the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. What do you know? They have Dak Prescott. I traded Dak Prescott for Patrick Mahomes straight up. And they still, they don't even have Travis Kelsey or Tyreek Hill. And yet the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. Let's take a look at the Pro Bowl. It's Rodgers versus Mayfield. What a matchup. Dwayne Haskins is in the Pro Bowl. Okay. I see you, Dwayne. I see you, Dwayne. Love to see that. Now, this probably will change next season, like in real life. So, let's just say that Patrick Mahomes might not be the highest rated quarterback next year. I have, I have a sneaking suspicion that Mahomes might not be rated the highest out of everybody next season. It could be a little bit of Joe Shiesty. It could be Josh Allen. Who knows who's going to be it. But here we go. This had to be the matchup, right? This had to be the matchup. Dak Prescott versus Patrick Mahomes, but they're flipped. <laughs> maybe that's the maybe that's the uh, the title of the video. It's Mahomes versus it's the Cowboys versus the Chiefs, but we have switched rosters. <laughs> That'd be an interesting video. Let's take a look at what the Chiefs are working with uh, since I traded them their guys. So they have Dak Prescott, they have Clyde Edwards Alaire, they have CeeDee Lamb, McCole Hardman, Demarcus Robinson, Byron Pringle, they have Dalton Schultz, Orlando Brown, Joe Tooney, same offensive line. I didn't take anybody from the offensive line. Melvin Ingram's still there. He had a great season. Frank Clark, Derek Nadi. Ja, uh, Jaron Reed or Jaron Reed, however you want to pronounce it. Shaquem Griffin, so Mr. Nub. Nick Bolton. John Simon, old reliable. Legereus Sneed. It's the same team except for Dak, Dalton Schultz, and CeeDee Lamb. So, hey, it's the... Yeah, I guess you could say that that is the... That's the, the Walmart version. If, if Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, and Travis Kelsey are the, the Amazon Gucci version then the Walmart dollar store brand version is Dak Prescott, Dalton Schultz, and CeeDee Lamb. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into this game. Let's simulate it and see who's going to take home the Super Bowl. All right, here we go. We've got simulation as we, as we move forward. Let's simulate to key moments let's simulate key moments and uh, we're not going to jump in we're just going to see what's going on here cowboys take a quick 10 to nothing lead over the kansas city chiefs a 17 nothing lead this could be an absolute barn burner if we're not careful 20 to nothing kansas city doesn't have much going for it dak prescott can't get going they get a three point uh they get a field goal to end the half but it's 27 to 3. I think we all know who is gonna take on who in this game. Or who's gonna who's gonna take down who. It's 30 to 3. This game is basically over at this point. And we keep on going. The last two minutes and uh the last two minutes, and so we are gonna go to watch the slow broadcast. A minute 45, Dak Prescott is driving down the field, but he's gonna get sacked by Miles Garrett. And there's got I got too much save data. I understand. We don't need the save data for this. This is the final thing we're doing. It's gonna be knocked incomplete. Stop with the save data stuff. I don't care. I don't care. Just let me do what I'm trying to do here. 37 to 6, Dak Prescott. He's driving up the field. He throws it deep to the end zone. It's caught touchdown! What a catch! That was pretty cool right there. That was pretty cool. McCole Hardman. Dak Prescott just lobbed that up to the back of the end zone. And McCole Hardman fought through and got that. But too bad it's not going to really matter that much. <laughs> too bad it's not going to really matter that much. We've got the extra points going up from Harrison Bucker. That is up. And Gouda. 37-3. I don't care about it stop it i don't care about save data please all right let's simulate a little bit more they get the onside kick let's see what happens here it's gonna be 
grabbed. Who is it? Oh, it's... Who's number eight? I don't know who number eight is. Is it DeAndre Hopkins? It is DeAndre Hopkins. I don't care about the save that. I'm sorry about the save that. I got too many save files on here. That's why it's doing that. There's Coach Dixon Butts. Not Coach Dixon Butts. Coach Dixon Between Your Legs. That's what his name is. <laughs> I didn't totally forget what it is. Patrick Mahomes with a minute and nine to go. Looking to win another Super Bowl. So I guess we found out that if a full team of the best player at each position, they could win a Super Bowl very easily. That's what we found out here. A minute and three to go. There goes the accelerated clock. We got probably one more play with the Cowboys here. 37 to 13. That's crazy. Derrick Henry gets the ball. He gets brought down. And that's probably going to be the game. That is probably going to be the game. What happened? What happened? What the heck? Who's throwing? What the? What happened? How did we go to a minute and 30? I'm so, con I'm so confused. I'm so confused at how we went to a minute and 30. There was like 30 something seconds left. I'm, I'm unbelievably confused right now, but we'll just jump to the end of the game because we know that that uh, they're gonna win. So, how do I, how do, what the, what the, huh? What the, huh? Fourth down, Dak Prescott drops back to pass. He throws it to the end zone. It's gonna be dropped by McCole Hardman. I don't know why they had another shot at it. What's going on here? I'm now in the game. <laughs> What is happening? I'm so confused on what has transpired today, but it doesn't matter. Derrick Henry running for a big time touchdown, I hope at least. He's got 114 yards in this game. Can we please not get this stupid thing off the screen? I can't do it unless we get out of the game. So Derrick Henry with another run. I might as well make sure that, yes, I understand. I understand that I have so much saved out on here. You don't have to keep telling me about it. This should be the final play. We should let the accelerated clock do its thing. Although I thought that was going to be the case earlier, but then all of a sudden the Chiefs had the ball again. I don't I don't know what happened there. Third down and three. The clock will run out. We'll snap this just because we can. And Derrick Henry. Oh, Derrick Henry. I kind of want to run one more play and throw it deep if I can. Can I, can I do that? Let me just hot route somebody deep. It uh, doesn't matter. Snap it. Throw it quick. DeAndre Hopkins picked off. That's my bad. <laughs> That's my bad. I'm sorry. But that should be the game now. Okay, it is the game. There we go. Finally. 37-13. So a team of the best player at each position will go undefeated and win a Super Bowl. That's just guaranteed, I guess. Congratulations to the Cowboys. A lot of these guys win their first ever ring. DeAndre Hopkins wins his first ring. Derrick Henry wins his first ring. Everybody that's ever been a cowboy <laughs> wins their first ring. Mahomes gets another one. Who's that? Is that Ryan Jensen? Why is he up there? Patrick Mahomes, DeAndre Hopkins holding the trophy. Devontae Adams is back there. Good job, Patty. You got another ring. You only had to team up with every best player at each position. And Coach Dix between her legs, Dixon, Coach Dixon between her legs, gets another or gets his first Super Bowl. So congratulations to him. All right, let's take a look at what happened in the stats. I, I kind of ruined Mahomes' game with that interception. But he went 21 of 34, 255 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. We won't count that pick because I threw it at the end of the game. It was garbage time. 25 attempts, 129 yards, and a touchdown for Derrick Henry. One touchdown for Christian McCaffrey as well. Seven catches for 70 yards for Travis Kelsey. Five catches, 116 yards for Devonta Adams in a touchdown. Three catches, 36 yards for DeAndre Hopkins. 11 tackles for Jair Alexander. Three sacks for Miles Garrett. Obviously, we saw one of those. Jonathan Allen had two. Vita Vea had one. We picked off Dak Prescott twice. Fred Warner and Justin Simmons. Very interesting game. Very interesting game. Okay. 37-13. Cowboys win the Super Bowl. I guess we found out our answer. Okay, and what do you know? 
We got a contract extension. The Cowboys' Jerry Jones wants to see Dixon between your legs even more around the, around the facilities because he offered him a three-year contract extension. So I guess we found out the answer. What would happen if you put the best player at each position on the same team? Would they go undefeated and win a Super Bowl? They certainly would. They would dominate every team they play, and they would go on to win a Super Bowl. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Let me know down below if you guys have any other suggestions for experiments that you haven't really seen or aren't very, um, aren't very like common things that that Madden YouTubers like to do. Then let me know down below in the comments on. Uh, on what we we can do and i will certainly see if i can give it a try but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys so much time and watching we finally completed an actual experiment and actually got a successful result usually my experiments don't really go that well but this one went pretty well we won the super bowl went undefeated we did everything we needed to do that's gonna do it for me thanks for stopping by subscribe to the channel join the juice club i'll catch you guys in the next one peace